Hi. That's M80. That's Demi. And this is the Mady Show. Episode 11. Where is the bug already? Yeah, it's 11. Not 11 at night, dude. It might be. I don't know. I don't know. Look at this motherfucker. Right? <laughs> Stupid fish. <laughs> Hold on, I can. Right. Yo. You see this motherfucker? You see this <laughs> comment, right? Yeah. You fucking kidding me? Fuck you think? Hold on, I'm gonna need two hands for this shit. Fuck you thinking? What the? Fuck you? You're not doing that shit right. Get up. We need something to hate. Yes. Episode 11 of the Dem80 Show. That's M80. That's Demi. Yeah. Motherfuckers, we're pissed. We're mad. We're upset. We got our panties in a bunch. Whatever you want to say, that's yeah. what we are. We're fucking <clears throat> aggravated. We're aggravated at hate mongers. Yes. Like, let my big homie over here explain to you why we pissed. Yeah, because, see, <clears throat> we'll put it like this. We've always had something to hate. Always. Always. It's bred into <clears throat> us. Yeah, since the beginning of time, right? Look at it. People first came over to settle in America. What did they do? Indians. They, <clears throat> they needed someone to hate. So they hated the Indians. Took their land from them. Said, oh, Duke, you had this little spot right here. After oh, that, yeah. Oh, yeah. What then, was it? Then it was the, then it was the blacks, the, yeah. the, Native, uh, the, the Native Americans, then it was the, the African Americans that would later be called. Yep. <clears throat> they needed them to, to hate. Yes. Did you know a term back in the 1900s, the early 1900s, was like 1920 around that time, there was a, a, a term, coked up Negro, was a common expression in the Carolinas. That's one of the reasons why drugs are illegal, and they blame it solely on one race. Yep. When I think of cocaine, I think of a bunch of waspy motherfuckers that got a, a bad habit they're trying to hide. Yep. That's what I think, too, you know. It's bullshit. Yeah, after the blacks, basically, with... with and then it was, it, was the, it was the Mexicans, yeah, the Mexicans, Hispanics, or Latinos, yeah. and, uh, but before that, it was the Irish. Well, around the time of the blacks, it was also the Irish up in the Northeast. Yes. And, and, the, and yes. the Italians. But the Italians, they, they organized, and they found a way around it, and the Irish pretty much basically got worked to death in a really bad rap and all that jazz. It, it's all because of hate. Yes. Because people want to be in control. So what they do is they make you hate something. Because if you hate, you fear. If you fear, you can be controlled. Yep. And that's bullshit. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think nowadays, what do you got? The newest thing that people are, are loving to hate? Gays. Say, gays. They got to take it out on the homosexuals because everybody else got their <clears throat> rights. Look at look, female rights. Yep. Female rights... It, Happened in, I, I believe it's, a, a, I don't want to be wrong, the 40s and the 60s, please forgive me if I'm wrong, but uh, it, 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 it's, females have not had the privilege to vote and stuff like that uh, for very long. No, they didn't, they only had the right to vote for a very short time. The people that It's are, a long time now, but it's a short time for, for voting. For the total work. independence, yes. And then they're trying to, they're not saying that gays can't vote, they're saying that they can't be married. And... Like, I'm probably going to catch hate for this, but I want to say right now, if they want to be happy and they're gay, whatever. If it ain't hurting. Marriage. It's, it, it's marriage. It has nothing to do with the church. And people can say, yes, it does. No, if you look up the, defini the definition, no, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. It, 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 the church controls marriage. Yes. All right. That's I'm it. not anti-religion. I'm anti-established religion, just to get it clear. Very clear, and uh, yeah, they because they, they, no nothing has so nothing has been killed more in the name of anything else. No, like like there is nothing else. Not oil, not gold, not and spices. Nothing else. Oil has been as much bloodshed as the name of fear-driven religion. Yeah. And that is bullshit. Well, 
now, in the modern day, in the 2000s, we have a, a, a breed of hate mongers all their own. Whole new category, just for them. Yeah. I think you want to talk about them. What did what, you call them? Oh, the e thugs. Right? E thugs, yeah. Internet yeah, gangsters. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Catwalk killers. The catwalk, that sounds like a gang. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> well, you figure they talk about like the gang bangers and all that stuff, and then I thought that was like, oh, you know. So I figured there must be a gang. It must be in the. Yeah, and the gang signs the Windows logo. <laughs> <laughs> or an apple for the hipsters. But like the whole the whole thing about hate is 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 people want to be in control, so certain people want to be in control, so they spread. Fear. And one of the easiest ways to spread fear is through hate. Yeah. Hate, hate. hate is a powerful thing. Very powerful. Very, very. And and um it just it it offshoots to so many different things of human nature. Like I went to a store recently to purchase a pair of headphones, of beats headphones. This gentleman behind the counter falsely told me his name and told me that Beats were crap and I need to buy an iMac. I was not in an Apple store. I was in a store, a general, like what, it wasn't a Walmart, but it was, it was like a Walmart. It was on an Air Force base. And you go in there and, and you just, it's it's what like Walmart to the extent of you just go in there and buy whatever, you, you know, whatever. I, I, it's I not know, one not, specific thing. I don't think you're talking about the, um, or it's called a, the PX, yeah, yeah, or I don't, I don't, whatever. <laughs> I think I got it right. Anyway, yeah, yeah. So, PX. yeah, and I know there's also the Class Six store where you could get cigarettes and alcohol and shit with no tax on it. Bought a Hennessy, thirty dollars, thirty. Um, there I go, getting off topic again. I got like six of, yeah. and it's bred in me to hate it. To hate my faults when I should embrace my faults to try to change them. Because if I hate them, it just puts in a repressed state. You see? Hate. You know? Um, but it's just like this kid was like telling me all these things that I knew, <coughs> that I knew to be untrue. Alright? Um, was telling me that I should that I should get a uh, a Mac because it will work better for what I needed for. Well, that may be true for some people, but my preference is Windows. That's what I want to use as a consumer. He should respect that. Everything. My sister-in-law was there to get a birthday gift to get a laptop. She wanted a specific one, and the guy blatantly lied to us that it was out of stock. They did not have it. Okay, he wanted to control the situation. He hated a specific brand. He didn't like it. He said that <coughs> he, he tried to say that this specific model of laptop was nothing but a tablet because it ran Windows 8. And I run Windows 8. And Windows 8 is much more. It, it can do everything Windows 7 can do, and then it's also adapting to newer things. All right? It's not perfect, but it certainly isn't completely broken. And that guy just wanted her to walk out of there with something that would have cost her four to six hundred dollars more and not do what she exactly wanted it to do. The features that she wanted was in this specific laptop. And because he wanted to control the situation because he hated specific brands, he tried to pass that on. Instead of getting what she wanted, you know, it was like we weren't being rude. We weren't like giving him a bad day. But he gave us a horrible day, you know. And you can look at that however you want. But poor customer service is poor customer service. And whatever that yeah. dude's got going on in his personal life, you know, doesn't give him any excuse to be hitting on my wife. No, it doesn't. Yeah, that's another thing, too. But I try to keep my hate in check. I get very angry, but I try to keep my hate in check. You know, like, there's so many things out there that just push and push you to be afraid. Yeah. They, they push you like that. Yes, they do. Yeah. I said, you're going to try to push me back, but then you got scared. You know why? Because I bred fear into you. You think so, huh? No, I don't think so. That was just, 
an analogy I was trying to work with. If you hit me, I swear to God, I'll fall. <laughs> All right. So, you got anything else you want to cover there, Fucky? Don't look at me like that. He was giving me the fuck you look, just not 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 the fuck me look. There's a difference. Yeah. That's a big difference. That's huge. His eyebrow was not lifted. Anyway, moving on. Is there anything else you want to cover? Why do you come with it all out of the water on me? I get excited. Asabi. I'm not. You got your information. Fuck you. Right? Why are you complaining? <clears throat> you simply I'm saying I agree with everything you fucking said. I would have said the same way. See, now you know why it's called the Dem 80 Show. I'm kidding. He's the one that came up with the name. <clears throat> and it, it sounds good, too. No. Fuck you if you don't like it. Okay. Um, I believe last show we said we were going to do a new segment uh, talking about movies we recently watched. Yeah. Got anything? I've seen say before, but I just recently watched it again in the Starkweather movie. Starkweather? Well, tell them, not me. Yeah. If y'all haven't, haven't seen it, the Starkweather movie, you know? It's actually um, about a real person. And uh, he's a serial killer, and he was the first serial killer in the United States history, from what I've gathered uh, through information that I've done research on, you know? Yeah, and <clears throat> I don't know if, the, if, if we got a couch. Yeah, we did. We did get a couch too. <clears throat> Moving up. But back to what I was saying, I don't know for sure. But if I'm not mistaken, I believe this Charlie Stockwell is related to. Yeah, yeah. Ain't that nice? Somewhere in my bloodline. Direct relation. My wife too. He was the first serial killer. In the U.S., right? Was it? Is yeah. That, that, okay. In the U.S. Mm-hmm. So now, now you know why I got a, uh, I got a, uh, a co-host here. Because I'm not always completely sure about what I'm talking about. Well, Same here, you know? Yeah, exactly. Bounce ideas off each other. All right. We'll, <laughs> we'll take a quick break from the topics at hand to thank our sponsors. Or not really sponsors. Well, they've been keeping us sober, so... <laughs> And if you've been to AA, you probably know me. <laughs> our, our friends out there, uh, Spirits of the Dark Carnival, yeah. what up? Thank you very much. Beastmaster. Um, yeah. And, um, Scarlet Two Balls. Yep. Panic. Do your thing. Thank you for helping us support the Dem 80 show. And also thank you to WickedNation.net and Unvids.com. We see you. We see you. We got this. All right. Recent movie that I seen. I watched a lot, and I'm trying to pick one out of my head. I seen Battleship. I caught, that caught that. Um, it was, it was like a Michael Bay film, all in your face. I didn't quite really follow the story. <coughs> there wasn't really much of a story from what I got. It was a shoot, shoot, bang, bang movie. I wasn't type. Mm -hmm. But it, it, had, it had a lot of heart, a lot of good uh, graphics and cinema graphic styles and all that stuff that you look for in a movie. It was very entertaining. Could totally hit the root again. Um, the acting was very good, but it was just like it was. There wasn't to me. There wasn't anything that really stood out that made it like made me want to be like, "Yo, go watch this." Like when I first seen Fair Loathing, I told everybody, "I'm like, go watch this movie. It's nuts." But uh, I'm not sure we watched the movie tonight. We're watching um, uh, Taken Part Two. Taken Two. I didn't see either of the Taken movies. I haven't watched them yet. I seen the first one. The first one was badass. Why right. would you take Liam Neeson's kids or his family? Why would you do that? Right. Like he trained Batman. He's like God in two different religions. You know. You're a bad mofo. You gonna take his family? Crazy. Alright. Let me ask you this one. 
Huh? He actually shows that he's a badass in the fucking first taken movie. We fucked that keyboard up, son. Look at this. Not really. It's still. Well, let me see that. Yeah, it'd be probably better off to use a chair. Oh, they built this thing's tough. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Damn. Hold on, let me see something. Oh. Hey, why did you tell me not to do that? I thought they were supposed to fucking tell you. I can't hear them. <laughs> anyway, this was the episode eleven of the Dumb Eighty Show. Maybe you would maybe hear if they would if they would if they would watch our fucking show. Back to that shit again, huh? Anyway, this has been episode eleven of the Dumb Eighty Show. We need something to hate. Like, subscribe, follow, recommend to people. Show it to your grandma and the old folks home. Get her to show her old crusty ass friends. Yes. Pass it around. Right? Like like fucking BD. You're good at that. <laughs> you pass out BD, you can pass out the fucking link. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. And uh, as always, these are our opinions. If you don't like them, you can fuck off. Well, what the fuck is that thing that stopped the video? They're not oh. from me. God, I didn't really mean to hit myself that hard. Jesus. I saw spots and shit.